Hello, thank you for your interest. I'm Ray Waterhouse. I'm based in New York and I lead fine art brokers in the US. I'm going to discuss how working with an art advisor can benefit both new and existing collectors when they buy or sell, and then illustrate how we have worked with five clients, all with different aims, taste and budget, and show some of the art we have bought and sold. One of these examples might connect with you in some way. Incidentally, we only charge on complete transactions. Unless we buy or sell something on your behalf, there is no fee. I can imagine you might think working with an advisor is somehow elitist or an expensive luxury. Well, we do have some billionaire clients with fabulous collections, but we mainly work with clients with a much more modest budget. In fact, I maintain we save our clients money through our due diligence, our research, our negotiating skills, our expertise, our connections, and our ability to recommend the right work of art for each client. All my team are experts, we're professionals, but we like to work with our clients in a friendly manner. And we can work with you according to your own knowledge and your own taste. If you wish, we can gently educate you about artists and trends and accompany you to art fairs and auction viewings. Or you can be more independent while still relying on our advice or even leave all the legwork to us and buy from the comfort of your own armchair. Whatever type of service and advice you want, we give all our clients the tools and options to choose good art maybe even greater at the right price and with confidence in their choices. There are many different ways to buy art through an advisor. Here I am talking at an art fair in London to a client who ended up commissioning a special work from the artist. If you work with an advisor, you have the potential to buy discreetly through the advisor's own private contacts to works not even on the market. Other buying options are more public, whether at auction, galleries, artist studios, or even online. Each has its own protocols and terms. We can guide you as much or as little as you want, or you can leave all the hard work to us. Buying art on impulse has some benefits, but one would never buy a house without a survey or have a lawyer look at the contract. Condition is a highly important part of value. Here, I'm examining a Liechtenstein sculpture with a conservator. And here I'm working with another conservator assessing a Medigliani. One of our main roles is to assess value. So we provide an analysis for our clients and show comparative prices and potential investment. And regarding the Medigliani, I advised a client on the purchase and helped on the resale at more than double. Then years later, when the prices had risen rapidly, I offered the new owner a $9 million profit. Perhaps two intangible qualities that an art advisor can provide are a trained eye and connections. Both are invaluable and I can't stress how important they are. So let me tell you a little bit about fine art brokers. I formed the company 25 years ago in London with Jonathan Dodd. I'm sure all art advisors have some knowledge of art, but we offer something different as we have bought and sold ourselves over 5,000 works. I moved to New York City in 2011 as our main clients were in the US. We have a private gallery on the second floor of a beautiful building on East 76th Street near Madison Avenue. I work in New York with three experts. Sandra and Simone are specialists in modern and contemporary art and Katerina in late 19th and early 20th century. We work at all price levels. The painting behind us here is a work by a contemporary artist we work with and is only 13,000. This is the same space hung with a major collection of post-war art with paintings by Rothko, Liechtenstein, Warhol and Agnes Martin. 
together valued at more than $40 million, which I helped a client sell both privately and through auction. And here we have works in the same space by Chagall and Braque. Our London office is run by my business partner of 30 years, Jonathan Dodd, and our director, Jamie, who together cover art from 1850 to the present day. They provide invaluable help to our US clients by sourcing works in Europe, viewing exhibitions and auctions there, and administering logistical work such as shipping to the States. And we have an agent in Paris, Hélène. Both Jamie and Hélène have worked with us for over 20 years. To show how we might be able to help you, I've chosen examples of how we have helped five clients, all with different tastes and requirements. Firstly, a couple new to collecting. These were referred to us by an existing client. They live in Florida and are looking for contemporary art in the $15,000 to $30,000 range. We have visited their home, discussed the various spaces and what they are looking for in general. We then send four or five recommendations for each space. So far, they have chosen two works, and as you can see, there are more spaces to fill in the coming months and years. We have also been working recently with clients who have a fabulous apartment opposite the Met in New York. The apartment has been decorated to the highest standards, and they want really good art that they love, but not very expensive art. All these paintings cost less than $50,000. Again, there are still some spaces, and as the apartment is going to be photographed in a couple of months for Architectural Digest, we are going to loan some pieces for the shoot. In the 90s and early 2000s, I was very active with a New York client interested in Impressionism and early modern art. Even though he had a PhD in finance and ran a fund, he was too nervous to go to a gallery or auction for fear of showing his inexperience or making a mistake. He bought every painting through me and together we bought an incredible collection. And six years later, I encouraged him to sell the Matisse that we'd bought in 2000 as the market was so hot. I got him an auction guarantee and we made what was then a record price for the artist. He loved being deeply involved in every purchase, but entrusted a lot to me. For example, I traveled to Tokyo to look at this Dugar to check on the condition and how it actually was in person. I negotiated the whole deal, and after my client's sad death in 2013, I in fact sold it back to Japan to the National Museum of Western Art for three times what he had paid. Another client who collects at a high value level buys the best Hudson River School paintings. After we acquired this masterpiece, I arranged for it to be exhibited at the Met and the National Gallery in London, which have both helped its value. He also likes iconic images by Norman Rockwell, at the time, we paid a world record for this incredible painting, but that price has since been beaten by $37 million for a painting equal in quality. I scour the world for this client, who, because of his schedule, isn't able to view paintings in person very often. He trusts me to advise on value and importance and how a possible new acquisition might fit into his collection. This sergeant was loaned to a museum in Wales when I viewed it. We purchased it from the owner, then I had to battle the UK government to get it exported. We also work with executives of estates. For example, during COVID, we advised on the sale of a major collection of post-war art including this Calder and Noland. I negotiated a special deal with the auction house and the collection had its own room during viewing times. 
we sold this sculpture from the estate by Asawa privately. We are also asked to check paintings at auction or to advise on works a client has seen at a gallery or in an artist's studio. These can range from $20,000 upwards. For example, we had to check out this amazing Oldenburg sculpture at a warehouse in New York for a client who lives in Louisiana. Having viewed it, we negotiated the price and arranged the transport and full installation. So you can see we work with clients in many different ways. And remember, we only charge if we actually buy or sell something for you. And our commissions are surprisingly low, two and a half to 15%. Please contact us, we'd love to connect. We can open up the whole world of art for you so that you can buy and sell with confidence. Thank you.